All right, so this video is all about engagement. So what is a good engagement ratio? How do you detect engagement, fake engagement, et cetera? Okay, so first thing is engagement ratio. So generally when someone says like an engagement rate, they generally look at the likes in relationship to the followers. So if you have 10,000 followers and a 1% engagement rate, then you get 100 likes per post, okay? 10,000. 1% of 10,000 is 100 likes, of course. It's straightforward. Now, what engagement rate should you expect or should you look for? So when you're looking at smaller accounts, let's see, here's an account here, 13,000 uh, followers, and this gets, what's this, like a 5% five, five a little bit less, 4%, 4% engagement rate. Unless there, you know, you're there you're getting closer, you're getting more, you're getting like six, seven percent engagement rate. So this is pretty normal for a smaller account of this size. Pretty straightforward, um, and, and expected entirely. So when you get over fifty thousand, the engagement rate might drop to two percent, and when you get above a hundred thousand, it will still probably stay at two percent. Excuse me. But it's basically, uh, it's going to slowly and gradually drop the engagement rate as they get bigger uh, for several reasons, but uh, you know, just plainly because people are less connected as they get bigger with their with influencers and influencers interact less when they get bigger because there's too many people to interact with. Uh, sometimes influencers above 100,000, they buy likes, etc., buy a lot of ads, a lot of inactive followers. If they've been doing, if they do, excuse me, if they've been doing marketing or at least being an influencer, excuse me, for a long time, then a lot of their audience may die off just because they've stopped using Instagram, etc., lost their Instagram password, whatever it is, right? So the engagement rate is going to go down as you get higher. So it could be as as high as 10, 15 percent. I mean, that's huge. 15 percent engagement rate is huge. 10 percent is huge. 5% is pretty good. And then as soon as you start getting over 100,000, you got to start dropping your expectations. Once you hit a million, I mean, a 2% engagement rate is pretty good when you hit a million because that would be 20,000 likes. That's that's pretty darn good. Now, the next thing I want to say is that there's more to it than just looking at the likes to the, to the followers because guess what? Influencers and Instagram accounts have got smart and they now buy likes and buy followers. So... What you need to look at is actually the comments, okay? And not just how many there are. That's the start of it. Look at how many comments. And if you want extra help, look at how many impressions a video gets. Okay, so we got... Now, this is interesting. Okay, we're going to get this to this in a second here. So first, let's deal with the comments. How many comments does it say? 38, 38. So let's just read what they are. So cool. This This could easily be spam right there. Cool. Let's look at who made the who made the comment. Oh, industry. Okay, he's in the industry. It looks like real, so that's fine. If he had a no profile picture, no photos, no posts, or uh, you know, totally unrelated posts, then that would be spam. If sometimes big accounts will actually uh, post comments, as we covered in the branding section of this course, so that will, we can also expect that. But some other things. Uh, it looks like he's replying, of course, replying, replying, replying. All good. Everything looks good. A lot of feedback, emojis. If if you're seeing a streak of emojis like these, like just one, and then like 10 of them, that's probably fake. But everything is, like, there's a pretty good variety here. Um, all sorts of, all sorts of comments. So... The comments look good. The comments are, are sufficient, lots of comments, and they also look of proper quality, okay? So let's get out of here. Let's go what I found interesting here. So we got 13,000, 14,000 followers. And what I'm seeing is 368 views, okay? Not impressions, views. So an impression of someone... Now this changes based because views and impressions change between Facebook, they change between um, YouTube and Instagram, etc. So my understanding of views is it's first of all it's less than impressions. Impression one impression is basically someone looks at your video, they scroll past it, whatever. If they stop and actually watch it for a little while, that's a view. Okay. Now I don't think views can be duplicated. So meaning that if 
368 people each watch your video twice. I think it would stay at 368 with Instagram. That's uh, that's not. I'm not sure entirely, but I know for sure that impressions do stack up across different accounts. So if this post showed, I mean, you can if they're enabled as a business account, you'll actually be able to see the analytics for the post. Uh, what the influencer will be able to see their own analytics. So those those impressions there, if they give you an analytics report like that, and you, and it says, I don't know, 2,000 impressions. That's not 2,000 unique people. That's 2,000 people on any count saw it. So it could be some people saw it three times, some people saw it four times, some people saw it once, etc. So impressions can be all over. But what is amazing is that this guy has this many followers and this many comments, but the views are so low. So if but just by looking at this without diving deeper, excuse me, uh, without diving deeper, it looks like he's buying things because it just doesn't make sense. Only 368 views with a bunch of comments and a ton of followers. It just doesn't look normal. But if it for me to validate this, I'd have to find a validate that it's actually fake. I'd have to find some sort of fake comments. But I'm not seeing that everything is engaging. So. Anyways, kind of interesting why videos are not converting for this guy, or at least people aren't watching them. Almost a thousand on that one there. So, see, look at this. Like, get that a thousand views, and then over here we got eleven or twelve hundred likes. We got more likes than than views. So this thing probably got five thousand impressions. You know, so it probably went on the explore tab too, since he has his shirt off. It looks like we'll look at the difference. Double when he puts his shirt off, it's doubled the engagement, but. Anyways, that's that's my rough uh, commentary on engagement. It comes down to you know the engagement changes as the fo as the following gets bigger, and it comes down to judging more off of comments and making sure that the comments are real. You can also judge off of these numbers here, but my hands are kind of up in the air uh, with with this profile here. What's amazing is come over to this girl here, Kelsey. She has almost nine hundred thousand followers, pushing a million probably by the end, end of the year. Bunch of likes, 10,000 likes, but look how low of the comments. She just, oh, she engaged with this person here. She must be a celebrity. Nope, interesting. So she reads her comments, but just doesn't engage as much as she should, uh, which is why the comments are probably low. Or she could be buying a lot of followers and a lot of likes. And given that she has her husband or whoever this guy is, boyfriend, uh, I'm pretty sure I've looked at this before. I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, yeah, I just saw husband there, but you click him. He's like his job is like basically managing her company or her brand. So I'm sure he's probably like buying likes, following, buying followers. I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of fake followers in that pack there. Uh, so I, I think it's a combination of both. I think sure she's great value. I'm not saying that she's um, you shouldn't buy or shouldn't hire her, but I'm saying that. A lot of these, I think, are fake. Just from, I mean, 33 comments. Let's go back to this guy. This guy has 38. 100, or he has 13,000 followers. She has almost 100 times that. So probably 75 times that, roughly. And about the same amount of comments and engagement. Crazy. That's actually crazy. So just some things to consider uh, when you're looking at influencers. So I would, if you're, look, if you're trying to guess a CPM, She's going to be low, uh, not as low of a ratio as Kim Kardashian. Eh, actually, probably about the same. I would go with 10%. 10%, so call it, uh, eight, call it 900, or excuse me, 90. 90,000 impressions, I would say, a post would get. So use that for her, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.